Well, hey, good morning. I hope you had a great week. And uh, we get into the end of it here. Weekend coming looks to be a nice one. So hopefully that's a, a good thing for you that way. I was encouraged last Sunday after being here together. I thought our first gathering together after 11 weeks. Can you believe it's been that long? Uh, 11 weeks we got back together again. I think it went really well. So thank you for coming, for being here, for following the guidelines and doing the best we can to try to, to uh, take care of the things we need to take care of and be able to gather together. Look forward to this week. We do the same thing. This Sunday we are, the, the turn of the dial now allows us to have up to 50% capacity. So with the overflow behind me, open like we have it and spacing we have it we can have 130 or so people here on sunday so that's really exciting glad to be able to to do that again so thank you for that thank you also for those who are online and are continuing to be online um, we're glad i'm grateful i'm glad that you're listening in that you're paying attention that you're studying the word of god with us because it's important that we stay united in these days I wanted to, to share uh, just briefly today uh, as, as just an encouraging word to you. I was reading in Philippians chapter 3 as I'm preparing for this week's message. We're talking about love. And I was thinking about passion. What are the things that I really care about? What is it that I enjoy? But what do I talk a lot about? And I would hope one of them is uh, my relationship with Jesus Christ. Here's what Paul writes. He says this in chapter 3 verse 14, he says, For I, as I have often told you before, and now say again, even with tears, many live as enemies of the cross of Christ. So I've been thinking about that in light of all that's gone on with the, the, the murder of George Floyd and all the upheaval after that, and, and uh, just been thinking a lot about the people around us. The people, whether, whoever they are, doesn't matter, uh, do I care enough to interact with them at a gospel level? What I mean by that is not just to say hello, but to be praying every day that the Lord would shape my own heart so that I would care enough to have passion in my heart to say, people around me are dying without Jesus. Does that bother me? Does it bother you? And Paul goes on to continue writing. He says, Their destiny is destruction. Their God is their stomach. And their glory is in their shame. Their mind is on earthly things. And so we should not be surprised that they are doing what they're doing, that they're behaving how they're behaving, whoever they are, whatever they're doing. Because the, the world is in organized rebellion against God. But it says here, in verse 20, but our, us, those in Christ, our citizenship is in heaven. And we eagerly await a Savior from there, the Lord Jesus Christ, who by the power that enables him to bring everything under his control, will transform our lowly bodies so that they will be like his glorious body. Did you catch that? That he, he is able to bring everything under his control. So I don't know about you, but there's a lot of things that feel like they're out of control. I saw this week um, that as far as COVID-19 goes, the numbers in Minnesota have been trending at least somewhat down. That's good news. But then you have places like Arizona, where all of a sudden there's a spike and they're concerned about hospital capacity and all that. And so there's a place. The Lord is able to get those things under control. How about uh, what's going on with uh, racial injustice? He is able to bring right to what's been wronged. How about your own life? How about the financial struggles you have or the relationship problems you have or, or, or whatever, the doubts, the fears, the things that come into play, the, the confidence that, that you're, you struggle with? He is able to bring those things under control because our citizenship is not in earthly things. It's in heaven with him. So I want to encourage you today. I don't know what your week's been like. I know I had a pretty good week. It felt more normal it has for, than it has for, for months. But I realize that there are some pretty heavy things going on. And there's pretty heavy things going on in our own lives. And your life maybe is one of them. So would you lean in this weekend a little bit closer to Jesus? And, and if that's you, just to say, hey, I want to trust you for this. You said that by your power, you 
will bring everything under your control. So maybe this thing or this thing or whatever it is I'm facing, I want to bring that to you and let you have control. So I look forward to being with you again on Sunday, whether that is in person or online, either way, whatever works for you. And we'll continue to look to the Lord to bring everything under his control. So would you pray with me as we conclude? Lord Jesus, we are grateful that you are a God who is in control. And I pray for anyone listening today who has things that they are struggling with, that you would bring them under your control. Oh God, we need you for this. We need you every moment. Have your way in us, we pray. In Jesus' name, amen.